Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for something called Sid Meier's Civilization 6. I really thought they stopped at 4, but apparently they came out with a couple more sequels of Civilization. Totally unnecessary if you ask me, because obviously Civ 4 is the greatest game of all time. So let's give this Civ 6 thing a bit of a try, shall we? Uh, let me just check my additional content and make sure that... Uh, I'm happy. There we go. Climate screen, espionage, reports, trade. This thing, my God, I don't know how I lived without this for so freaking long. And of course, the most important mod in the existence of all mods forever is more lenses over here, just because it gives us the builder lens. Again, I'll, I'll always be kind of cranky with the fact that I went to a very early pre-release press event for Civ 6. It was like 10 people. And the first time I played, I said right away, wow, this lens system is really great, but you know what you really need is you need one for the builders. And they're like, oh, that's a good idea. We'll make sure to uh, pass that on to the devs. And then they never did it. The game came out like a few months later and it still didn't have the, uh, the, the uh, builder lens. I'm like, no, no, that's okay. First patch, they're going to add it in. They never did add it in. Anyway, <laughs> enough crankiness. Let's go ahead and create a game over here. We're going to play, of course, with all the rules. We're going to play on Deity Difficulty, which I still say I have no right to win any game of Civ ever on Deity. But uh, Civ 5, Civ 6, I don't know. I think it's the one Uniper Tile. Uh, I can I can do it. I think we're going to play on Standard Speed this time. Continents Map? I do tend to like it. The True Earth locations are fun, but they're, they do lead to some wonky stuff. You know... Continents is a gold standard for a reason. Uh, we're going to go with standard map size. I'm not going to turn on any game modes. I don't think I'll just play sort of as is. Disaster intensity is set to a two. That's OK. I don't think there's any. Sometimes I do set the city states to max because I do like city states, but I think I'm going to leave it as is. Random it. All right. Let's start and see what Sini Beanie has to say to us in a second. When the loading please wait finishes. I can kill a little bit more time. I'm a professional at this. Scene. Scene, where are you, man? From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. You could have followed the whims of your colleagues, Simon Bolivar. But instead, you chose to become the Liberator. Hardships never dissuaded you. So hold fast to your ideals and lead your Republic into a new age of prosperity. Okay, we're playing as Grand Columbia. Now, I don't remember what these things are. We're going to have to check it in the Civilopedia in a second here. The plus one movement to all units is like, that's insane. That's insane. And yeah, we get a free, well, their unique great general, I think, when we enter a new age. But I don't know what that means. What am I looking for here? Uh, not great people. Where are the, there, citizen leaders. There we go. <clears throat> Let's start with the civilization first. Grand Columbia. Yeah, and promoting doesn't end the turn. Commandante general. Special type great person. Uh-huh. Each has unique abilities, including a passive effect and retire effect. All right. And then our Lanero. Industrial area unique replaces the cavalry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Low maintenance cost plus two combat strength for each adjacent Lanero. Fully heals when in range of a commandante general. That is that activates his retire ability. Okay. Now you guys know I don't tend to build a lot of cavalry type units, but I'm clearly gonna have to consider that here because of their ability to stack some extra damage, which is kind of nice. And Hacienda replaces what? Oh no, it's just a builder ability. It's not a district replacement. Gold production, housing, food for every two adjacent plantations. Increased to every plantation later. Plantation Hacienda plus one production for every two adjacent. Okay, so plantations and Haciendas go together. Alrighty, and then if I look at, uh, yeah, the back button doesn't work, it's weird. The way the back button works is a little bit bizarre. And then his special abilities that we just get a new Commandante General every year. Alright, <clears throat> well we are going to start on the coast here, and actually I quite like this starting location at a glance. Going to get the extra food here, 
plenty of sea resources as well. Luxury there. I'm trying to remember. I've been playing so much Civ 4 lately. It's like, wait, how, what's the range from the city? Right, range 3. So we'll work down here. It won't work the crabs, which is maybe a little bit awkward. I'm actually wondering about moving down over here. Of course, we would get an era score if we settled on the coast itself, because your first coastal city gives you... Well, it, sorry, it doesn't give you era score. Well, might, I don't know. It gives you the boost towards... um sailing or whatever the aquatic tech is called but if we move here then we get the fresh water bonus and we can work the crabs although we're not gonna be able to build fishing boats here but we can always build them somewhere else what's the advantage of settling on the coast i mean we can build ships here before we get a harbor ideally a harbor location would actually be right here because if, if our city was one of these two tiles and a harbor would be stuck there, that would actually be huge amounts of money from it. But, I mean, we'd lose a whole turn. I can move here and settle in one turn, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do with the warrior to be able to see, I think, more that will inform our location. Wow, whoa, that is a heck of a mountain range. None of a sudden it's like, ooh, I want to build a campus right here, but I'm not going to want to do it on the sheep, I don't think. I kind of feel like moving down here. So I guess I will. It's a little less defensive because it's not on a hill, but with this mountain range, I'm actually feeling pretty safe over here. I don't know if that's the way to go. I hate that B is not a hotkey to build a city here. Um, we're going to do that. Now, for tech... Yeah, let's talk about this. Agriculture. I did get another sheep a little closer. We would have been able to work on it over here, but it'll be a little faster to get. In fact, I bet you that's the first tile that we expand to. Will it show it here? No, not until some culture starts to accumulate. I think... Well, first of all, for construction, I had already decided before starting this, I was going to go and start with the somewhat more greedy run. We're going to start with, like, at least one scout, if not two scouts right away. It is going to make it a little harder to defend, but if we can... Actually, I don't think we can get through here. Oh! <gasps> Interesting. Because that's water here and the mountain. No one can walk through this area. Our capital is going to be super duper defended, although our expansion route, hopefully everything is good over here. Otherwise, if, if we don't have a good spot for a second and third city over here, we're going to have to restart because that is rough. Um, I guess I'm tempted to go animal husbandry so that we can build the pasture on the sheep early on. And I think that's probably the way to go. So we're going to do that. And... Tiles were working. They should be working relatively reasonable tiles. High production, not as much food. We'll probably go builder second, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Now, we don't have any plantation resources over here, which is too bad for our unique stuff. Okay, it's tight. Oh, and there's a city-state over there. Guys, I... I don't know that we have enough room to, like, expand this game. I mean, I like marble, but there's not even sea resources really over there. Huh. Well, okay, that's not so bad. We'd have to settle on one of the marble locations. We could settle here and there. I mean, there's obviously going to be a lot of overlap with Bogota. Is it the end of the world? I'm not sure. But yeah, settle on one of the marbles. And then hopefully settle on the other side here. Oh my god, this mountain range. If there are no dogs in Sorry, scene. I'm I'm a little focused in the brain right now. Uh hmm. Well, we are gonna settle here, so I guess we'll get the Eureka to sailing. I mean, I could pre-research it a little bit. Maybe we'll actually pick up riding fairly early. I might not worry. Normally, I want to get archery early on, but I'm not as worried about some early warfare here. That unit being away is kind of annoying. Wow, this terrain. Wow, that's a lot of mountains. Jeez. 
Almost feels like I'm running a weird map script, but I'm not. Okay, three turns. Okay, why couldn't my warrior have come down to where the barbarian encampment is? Alright, I will have to bring the warrior down. So she, yeah, the scout can't get through here at all, actually, which is kind of annoying. Oh, what? That pathing is odd. Okay, builder is in place. Um, I can't start the settler because we don't have the pop. Although it's about to get the population. Um, I don't think the slinger thing is necessarily going to work for us this time. I'll probably I'll just put a turn into a warrior. Oh my god, I've been playing so much uh, Civ 4 and Alpha Centauri, I, I couldn't understand how this finished in one turn. I was like, what? Shouldn't this take like four turns to build a farm? <laughs> no man ever wetted clay and then left. I'm also used to, uh, can, I wonder, is there an option for that in here? In the other games, I can, um, I can close the window and still have it keep playing the quote. I don't know if there's an option for that. Okay, we have the boost to irrigation, but I don't think there's any reason to unlock irrigation right now. I think we're going to have to go for some early writing. I could build another farm here. How's our border expansion looking? Seven turns. If I got, like, mining, I could do some chops. I know, I can probably just build a second farm. I think that's going to be okay. And actually, you have grown to size two now, so I would like you to start on a settler. Thank you. And yeah, we'll probably send that out unescorted. That is a whole other block. This is not wisdom. Okay, God King is in place so that we can get a pantheon. We probably want the fishing boat pantheon, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just going to go and stand on the sheep for a little bit until the borders expand. At least we don't have to worry about the barbarians waking up. Although, what I should do is actually have someone sit here so barbarian camp doesn't spawn, or do we want to farm it for some reason? Yeah, I'm not sure. Sit and wait, my friend. Wait, is it the top of the map? Oh, no, no. There's a border there. I, this is just the vision with the trees, I guess, blocked us. But it looked like it wasn't expanding our view anymore. I'm <laughs> like, wait, is that literally the top? But no. We'd see the polarized caps and stuff. Menelik! What's up, buddy? Okay, it's an honor to meet you. Love to sample your hospitality. We learned some ridding. I'm, I'm not sure that this start is super viable. I'm kind of curious to see where we can go with it. Part, I'm, I'm just concerned that we're gonna we're gonna do like two or three episodes and be like, yeah, okay, we can't do this. I'm gonna come through here before we have to worry about the borders blocking us off. So hopefully you can meet some more people here. Okay, writing's about to finish, and we got the boost to it, which is really nice. Um, too bad there's no good defensive terrain for us to sit on here, but we have the the warrior advantage, so we should be fine here. Uh, keep waiting. Oh, of course you would spawn a freaking unit. Of course you would. Okay, let me go across here. We'll be on a hill and across a river. There we go. Sheep it up. Third improvement. Bunch of Eurekas. New city state quest. All right. Writing is easy. Writing is easy. <clears throat> Okay, let's pick up mining and maybe bronze working. So yeah, just fortify until healed. The wicked king Woo! pursued the lovers Juan and Maria on his swiftest horse. As he overtook them, Maria flung down her ring and at once rose up seven tall hills, and the king was slowed. Food production science is pretty good. 
And we get ourselves a Eureka. Wow. Maybe... I mean, if we go naval early and hard enough, maybe we'll be okay. I am going to take a big risk with an unescorted settler because we've we've just got to. It's our only hope for tempo. And yeah, I can embark a settler and drop it over here. That would be, wouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm going to go I'm going to finish this warrior here. And yeah, we're going to settle probably on this one, actually. That seems all right. Unescorted settler. Let's do it. Focused on God of the Forge, belief. Okay, good for them. And someone's built Stonehenge. Okay, we're fully healed. We're back down here. Uh Who deserves I hate barbarian ships. Wife of a coal miner. Mm, nope. There's some copper here. And a lot of stone, which is interesting. Um, I could finish astrology fairly cheap, but I'm not sure I'm looking to build that yet. We should probably get masonry so we can work these things. Or we at least pull partially research masonry. Yeah. Or, you know, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to work on sailing because we're going to get the Eureka in time for that to be useful. Smash. Hoping this guy doesn't come in, but... Yeah. Oh, he... You... Son of a bitch! That's just rude. I thought he would sit there and heal. I'm actually very annoyed. I might put you on auto explore at this point. You know what? I think you're going to be fine, Mr. Scoot. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed. I'll change your policies in just a sec. I'll take the bonus attack there. Um, I'm going to run this. I mean, we are working on a warrior. I don't think we're going to get a lot of barbarians here. I could go survey, but I don't think I care that much about it. We got to keep God King running for now. So we will do that. And... I mean, at this point, I can sort of just start doing some partial researches. I don't think we're going to be discovering a second continent anytime soon. Now, I'd love another settler. We're going to be able to have builders embark, but not settlers yet. I wonder, I guess, we might just be able to walk a settler over here. Do we, do we always have open borders of city-states? I think so. I'm going to, I'm tempted by the campus, although really we want our borders to expand a bit more before we do that. So maybe finishing writing this early wasn't as useful. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I don't think there was any other text we needed any immediately. I'm going to go ahead and YOLO a settler again. And I'm going to put a unit kind of over here. And then keep you sort of vaguely over here. All right. Let's oh, keep trying to hit B to settle. To build a city. Eureka sailing. There we go. It's five turns away. Um, I'm going to go for a builder immediately. <laughs> I love the little canal art here. Like, all right, I I mean, maybe a little bit unnecessary, but at the same time, you know, bring some ships further in towards our cities and our warehouses. I guess that kind of makes sense. I'm just going to put you here for some vision, defense. Get you chill, barbarians approach. Oh, we probably spotted the ship there. You do have a promotion, so we'll give you battle cries, certainly. And then otherwise, you're just going to sit around on alert mode. That's going to be fine. Okay, settler, settler. I don't think we've got anything to... I mean, I could buy a military unit, but I can't build, buy a builder, which is usually what I'm looking for here. I don't think this is a very big continent. Oh, jeez. I got a phone call. Hmm. 
That's my dad. I'll have to call him back later. Sorry about that. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I'll probably call him in about five minutes when I finish this episode. But little boats should keep near shore. All right, fishing boat's going to be good, although I'm worried about the barbarian going around ripping up some stuff. I do have the boost to astrology, to irrigation, but again, we don't have anything to irrigate. We're going to start on masonry. And that actually should work out pretty well for our timing on the marble here. America's declared war on Ethiopia. Wait, America's over here too? How? Well, I guess we might be ter we might be quite south. And there could be a lot more continent up there. I guess that's possible. Yeah, I'm just going to chill here. Yeah, that ship is annoying. Yeah, um, I'm fine with basically going into the next era with no era score. We don't need a good age right now. And the lower it is, the better we might be. Uh, the easier we might be able to normal age, if not golden age. In fact, that would be a heroic age. So yeah, totally okay with that. Okay, I'm fine with our buildings. New wonder got built. Um, yeah, I think we're going to hard research foreign trade. Because I don't think we're going to see a second continent for a while here. Yeah, you're going to chill there. That's the positive aspect oh. of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Okay. We still don't have our pantheon, huh? Should get that boosted soon. Oh! Hang on. There's our pantheon. I think we go God of the Sea here. I think we're going to have quite a few fishing boats. I mean, there's lots of good stuff in here, but I think that's going to be a pretty good one. So let's do that. Oh my God, stop leaving me voice messages and sending me text messages. <sighs> okay, we do want to get a trader going. I think probably now is actually okay. We're going to get a builder there, which is going to give us masonry. I'm actually going to switch out of masonry for a sec, just to make sure we don't overshoot it. Um, we're definitely going to want... Yeah, we're going to want shipbuilding fairly quickly. Right now, it's too expensive. I mean, we'll try to get a couple of quadreams going on. Let's work on bronze working, see if we can find iron. I don't know if we're going to get a third barbarian kill, unfortunately. Especially with me watching like this. You expanded the borders there, which is vaguely annoying, but I don't think it's going to block us. I can probably just get a trader started. And then we do have the free policy change here. I suppose I could use this for now. We are going to be building some naval units soonish, but not yet. I don't think we've got a military policy that makes a difference for us right now. So yeah, I'm going to try to settle... Oh, can I not go through there? No. Their borders are closed to us unless we can become their suzerain now. Is it because they have a suzerain that closes the borders, maybe? Do you have a mission? Send a trade route. And then... It's going to be a while. Well, we'll move it a little closer anyway. That's annoying. You know what? You can start on your campus. Or, actually, maybe I want to do the monument to push out some border. No, let's get a, a campus going. Uh, do I buy that tile? Yes. Do I buy that one? One, two, three. Actually. Yeah, go on. Come here. Flory. Eureka Masonry. Let's finish Masonry now. Hey, Teddy, here you're starting some wars, man. What's up with that? I would love to give you marble for money. Hey, I gotta remember to check our quick deals here. And... Fishing boat. I forgot the fishing boat isn't a unit in this game. It's just what builders build. 
<laughs> oh my god. Statues. I have been playing too much Civ 4. That's crazy. I think I'd like to go back to bronze working. Um, just because I mean, I don't think we're going to do a rush with it, but the production. I don't know. Do I just start working on shipbuilding now? Perhaps? Nah, I'll go bronze working. It'll it'll technically give us some defensive options as well. Oh, these are my only copies. I mean, it would give us money. I don't know if we need the money, actually, but yeah. I mean, we always want the money. I, I meant to say, I don't know if I need the happiness right now. Okay, trade route is done. And yeah, plus two. I mean, unless we buy all the way to the sheep and plant it on the sheep, which I don't want to do. Um, so I'm going to buy this tile and we're going to start a campus here. We're going to get some tech going much earlier than we sometimes do. But we're clearly going to need something. Yes, I'm going to send you to Taruga. But that is not enough to open our borders. And yeah, we're not going to get the barbarian kills. Okay, classical era, dark age is fine. I don't care about that at all. Right, and then we get our unique unit giving us a huge amount of score right away. We're going to build a couple of specialty districts, but I got to assume we do more Eurekas or Inspirations than that. I have to assume. And just wait here for now. I mean, we're not going to get the ability to go over the sea yet. So, passive ability is this, but don't you have a unique... Land units within two tiles, plus four combat strength on attacking districts. So that is this guy's retire bonus. I think I'm just going to park him in Krakus for now. And I don't want to overshoot that. Do I want to get mysticism? I wonder if we can do preserve things this time. Now, I'm going to start working on state workforce, although I will have to switch out of that as well just to not overshoot. Yeah, spread some religion to me. Okay. Oh, it's the next thing. Okay, no, keep working on this. And yeah, we'll have to hard research that. And you just chill here. I know you're not going to do anything right now, that's okay. Wait here. Two turns, our empire will be size six. So we'll be switching over our policies. Oh, you probably got booted out of something. One does not simply pet a cat. We do, though. Pet the cat's love. There we go. Early empire boost. We're going to switch out of state workforce. Go to early empire. Finish bronze working the hard way. Keep whining about not being able to enter these borders right now. I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy. I don't see any iron. Well, heck. All right, we got to start working on shipbuilding. I think we're going to be... Oh, we probably want libraries next, because we're obviously going to have to build a couple of galleys. To get the boost, because that's going to be a big save. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air con So, uh, normally at this point, I'd be quite happy to do colonization, but it's not going to help for us. I don't think we're going to be purchasing more tiles right now. Um, naval units. Okay, let's pop that in. I think I will build two galleys after finishing this. At least this is going to give us five science. Obviously, we want the libraries, but I think we're going to want to pop out a couple of um, a couple of galleys. Oh, I can't build it here. It's all going to be in Krakus, actually. So you know what? I guess you do build the library. Um, what do we want to do first here? That's an interesting question. 
I don't think the Magnus Magnus um, settler stuff is going to work out for us. We're not doing religion right now. I don't think we need Amani or Victor yet. So it's really kind of between Liang and Ping. I mean, Ping's always good for a little bit of boost. But I think we grab Liang. We're going to want maybe Aquaculture quite quickly, is what I'm thinking. And... I think we're going to want to do a bunch of Aquaculture in Caracas, but I'll just put her in Bogota for now, because there's more of a chance that we'll be spamming out some settlers over here. Or, sorry, builders over here. There we go. Air score from the good adjacencies. But rather than build a library, you're going to build a galley. In fact, you're going to build two. You know what? It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce. I think we're going to get we're going to get our naval tech before we ever are able to get through this border over here. So I'm just going to move the settler back down this way. Political philosophy. We obviously want that. Ooh, you get another promotion immediately. So actually, hold on. Constructing districts. I think we will we will grab aquaculture now, and I'm going to reassign you to Krakus. And we'll build a bunch of fisheries for you. I do not like the pace of this game right now. I think, you know, I kind of like the location in a few different ways. I think this start is too hard for us to overcome. I'll do one more episode. We'll see. Maybe if we plop down. I mean, we're going to have a good city or two over here. A great Petra city, but we're so far behind. We can settle a bunch of the coast. But defending all these cities is going to be brutal. And we are at the South Pole over here. I don't know. I got to put a cut in here. Apparently, I got to call my dad. Um, we're going to do another episode of this series. And then we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.